What's up, folks? How's it going? Welcome. Uh, I know it's been a while. It's it's. Uh, if you caught my live streams on YouTube, that's great. I just finished Hard Space, but I'll talk about that later. So here we are. We're back at it, and uh, <clears throat> well, <laughs> I have chose a pretty doozy of a game that we are going to be taking a look at uh, this time around, and it is called. We the Revolution, all right, takes place in, I'm assuming, uh, the French Republic during the onset of the French Revolution, where we get that lovely slogan of, and I'm going to butcher it here, Liberté, Egalité, and Fraternité. Probably butchered it. I'm, I, I don't speak French, but exactly translated to liberty, equality, and fraternity. Ah, man. I have to say, I really do love the French Revolution. I really do. And the, the reason why I love the French Revolution so much is because it is a prime example of why democracy doesn't work. Now, I, before you start hanging me from the tree, all right, the United States is not a democracy, all right? It's not. It's never been a democracy. We are a constitutional republic based around federalism, okay? And we can talk about that more later. But, all right, I think it's, I think democracy is just one of those things that have been sold and package to people and they don't truly understand what democracy is and true democracy as we will see is exactly uh, terrifying and there's no better place than to explore it than French revolutionary France so sit back relax and Watch me make a complete fool of myself playing this game as I have to make political decisions. And if you've seen me on Twitter, I have quite a few hot takes. So let's see how this goes. Join me. Alright guys. Okay, so really quick, I just wanted to say that there was a bit of a issue recording the audio from the game. I've corrected it already, but it was too late for this video. So I've added text uh, where characters are speaking. Welcome to We the Revolution. That's right. Uh, so we're going to be starting off, uh, from my understanding, I'm playing the role as a judge all right, in revolutionary France. And I'm going to have to make decisions uh, that, well, that keep me from losing my own head. All right. And so this is going to be interesting. And I think this uh, statue here uh, that we see in the opening is a prime example. <laughs> a good example of the French Revolution. Alright, so let's go ahead and start. Sun. I hear you. The, the art design here. If you're in this position, probably. Oof. All right, so we're 
already getting into something here, so that's kind of cool. Looking, I love the artwork. The artwork was pretty amazing. This is my first run through. All right, I, I haven't played the game before. I've never tried it. France, turn of the 18th century. Okay, so I was right. The prologue. So this is a dry run. All right, I haven't had any practice or anything. So this is going to be interesting. Oh. All right. Puking on the banner of the country. Well, oh. that's clearly uh, anti-revolutionary behavior. Off with his head. All right. Raymond de Voyer. Remind me next time that I want to stop drinking this cloudy rot gut. Remind me before I drink it. We're disgracing Themis. Ha! <laughs> uh, is someone coming? This was bound to happen. I told you. Papa, you said we, w we would go. You promised. Papa had a lot of work. Yes, a lot of heavy glasses. You promised me. I can't anymore. I'm fed up with asking. Mama is angry. Quiet. Today, your favorite son wanted to prove he was more honorable than his father, so he started a fight. A five-year-old boy, for God's sake. Our neighbors wanted you to explain that to them, but, well, you were fighting for justice at an inn. Damn you, you bloody drunk. Mother. Uh, documents and letters. Drag and drop documents to manage their layout. Click to display their, uh, their contents. I'm getting a real uh, papers please vibe here. All right, uh, events are here. React to events, ignoring them may have severe consequences. All right, notebook, review detailed information about current events, actions, and characters. The verdict, consider the effects and decide the defendant's fate. Uh, change the game settings. The hierarchy, review the current balance of power in Paris and your position therein. Intrigues, intrigues are complex conflicts between you and another political player. A defeat may turn out to be disastrous for you. Okay. And then influence points. Influence points are the main currency in the game. Use them wisely. Notifications. Pay close attention to the changes in your influence in relation with factions. Global modifiers. Some of your decisions and change in the world of the game may cause global modifiers to come into action. These factors affect relations, reputation, and influence. You can review them in the notebook. All right. Seems simple enough. So let's uh, take a look at the news here. Make your decision. Each action may require a different number of influence points and have a different chance of success. Consider them carefully. Okay. Your addictions are no longer a secret. The fact that our other children are bullying your son because of them is a minor problem. But who is spreading those rumors? It is likely to be one of their parents. They could have whispered into their children's ears whom they shouldn't play with and why. They might even have spiced the story up with a lie. But who will hear it next? So I can try to intimidate parents, which will call, cost me the three influence points that I have. Or let's talk eye to eye, or I completely ignore it. I think in a situation like this, we kind of have to... Let's try to be reasonable. Okay, let's try to be reasonable. This is the prologue. Let's let's try to see where, where we're going. Let's talk eye to eye here. All right, this is going to be our decision here. So we're going to use one influence point, and we're going to talk eye to eye. All right, let's uh, re review our relations here. So sections taken over. Negative uh, relations with factions mean negative consequences for you. Uh, the fervor in Paris is rising. Okay. Reputation impacts everything in the world of the game. Factions, family reactions, blah, 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 blah. Uh, influence points. You have to set amount of influence points per day. Okay. No glow. Death penalty, prison, acquittal. Okay. Um, neighborhood gossip. All right. We're still in the prologue. All right. So... That's fine. Friends and family. Matilda, born in Paris. She's never been outside the city. 
Bernard, a slender and handsome young man, the weight of the current developments in France is slowly dawning on him. That's the man in the bailiff, I'm assuming. Uh, the youngest son, which is the little boy, he got into a fight. Aldrich Fideli, who's the father, once moderately well-off merchant, today a bitter old man, left with nothing. And then Raymond Duvio, the mentor, a man who's lived long enough to fully realize. Okay, so case file. Here we go, finally. Um, review changes and facts that will make it easier for you to unlock questions for the defendant. Okay, so to judge Alexis Fideli, we have not expected this kind of behavior from your son. Oh, oh. Oh, it's, he's my son. Oh, crap. All right. Uh, we have not expected this kind of behavior. Then I would have intimidated them if that's the case. Uh, family's everything. Uh, we have not expected this kind of behavior from your son, although apparently we should have. Uh, innocent child's play turned into an assault on our children. The younger one, Antoine, now has a chipped front tooth. Ah. Oh, well. Something to talk about. We hope that you will punish your child accordingly. Should the situation repeat itself, we will react more decisively. Hmm. Uh, that can mean something. I am sure we can deal with a gambler and a drunkard, even if he is a judge. We will not let our children be hurt. That is, uh... Alright, so, uh... Let's see. While linking lines of inquiry and categories, you can make a limited number of mistakes. If you make too many mistakes, the whole system will become locked. Okay, Traps. Some cases may contain traps. Read through the files thoroughly to find the lines of inquiry that are irrelevant. Alright, so I'm... Course of events. Okay. Incorrect link. Okay, so I made a mistake. There are three questions to reveal. Possibility. Ooh, got caught in a trap. Would that be the victim? Question discovered. Course of events. Okay. Injured Antoine. All questions unlocked. Okay, good. I, I don't understand still. That, that, that's clear. Okay, gather information and influence the jury's attitude by questioning the defendant. To ask questions, you have to first unlock them in the inquiry linking menu, okay? Being in the jury's good graces allows you to find out which uh, they will sway after you have asked a question. All right, this is very complicated. Okay, uh, how did your play turn into a fight? Our neighbors, Antoine and Jean, I'm assuming it's Jean because it's French, uh, they were saying mean things about you. We were playing guards, and they asked me to pretend to be a drunkard whom they would, you know, you were fighting both of them at once. I had to. What exactly were they saying? Are you too drunk to guess? Shut up, boy. I was not asking. Thank you. They were yelling that you are, well, I told... I told them that it's not true, and they started calling me names. They called me a drunkard son. Do you occasionally like to have the drink from time to time? All right, uh, what, who started the fight? I can tell you who ended it. Shut up. I mean, um, I think it was uh, me. I kicked the one on the left and then wanted to get the one on the right, but, but they ended it. They knocked me to the ground and paid me back for hitting them. Did you really break Antoine's tooth? Frederick is just a child. I don't know. I don't think so. Did you hit him in the face? I think I kicked him, but not that hard. 18th century France. Uh, dentistry is not really a big thing here. So I, I've already asked all my questions here. Okay, so now for a verdict. Make the most important decision. Condemn the defendant or deem them not guilty. Signature. Sign the document to legitimize your voter. Okay, so we have to make a decision here. Well, obviously, because he's my son, he was defending my honor, the family's honor, all right? The most important person in the household is, well, the father, and he was doing, I gotta say, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. I like him, all right? He's my, he's, he's, he's my favorite son, but, but he does have to be punished for what he did, all right? But on the other hand, he was defending me. But on the other hand, do we really want to bring... Hmm. 
of the concept of nepotism. Uh, you know what? This is 18th century France. He's my son. He was defending me. Not guilty. Nepotism. And there's my signature. You did well. A man has to defend the honor of his family no matter what. Those children are so small and they already know the truth. The father of my children is a lying drunk and a gambler. Bernard used to worship you. But he soon grew up. Now it is Frederick's turn to learn the truth that echoes in the street. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And you, Raymond? You're supposed to be my husband's mentor. Is this what you wanted to teach him? How to repeat your mistakes and lose his family? I was unaware that Matilde uh, had such a temper. As was I. We will wait outside, as always. Okay, this is me. Liberty. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah. Ooh, I like that. I like that. You got the French flag right there and with the colors, red, white, and blue. Very nice. Very nice. The blood of the enemies of the Republic. Liberté. Day one. Act one. All right, hopefully now we get an interesting case now. All right. Uh, oh, this is new. Okay, expected sentence. Find out which verdict is expected by the factions and your close ones. All right, so the common folk expect a prison sentence. So do the revolutionaries. Okay, this is, okay, so this is going to be interesting. Uh, the jury has not revealed its verdict yet. All right, so we have a full-blown court case here. All right, we, we, the training wheels have come off. Now it's time to... Um, uh, this is protocol review the trial's records. Okay, unavailable in this case. Any news? Neighborhood gossip. The father had a rare episode of foolishness when he decided to stand up to someone stronger, threatening him with a fist and showing his children they are safe by his side. He did not listen to your arguments. Furthermore, he gave a prescribed description of where you can shove them. It's okay. I'm going to let it slide. This time. This time. Okay, but... Next time? Next time his ass is mine. All right, let's take a look at our case file here. So, Jean Renard, a 45-year-old innkeeper, has been charged with fraud. He is accused of diluting alcohol in his tavern, tricking his clients into paying extra. Oh, that's not cool. Guests came with their minds set on a specific goal, getting roaring drunk. But instead of staggering out after drinking two pitchers of wine or several pints of beer, they would sit in the inn until morning still sober and completely penniless. The innkeeper's fraud came to light when one of the customers discovered the scam and caught the cheater in the act. Oh no. The man entered the host's cellar and witnessed him diluting the alcohol in the barrels with ordinary water. As a result, customers received only four parts of what they paid for and one part from the water carrier. Let me go back here. So, diluting alcohol, getting roaring drunk, discovered, and ordinary water. There's questions to reveal are four. All right. So exposing the innkeeper, this would be witnesses. I think, okay, I think I have to figure out the method. Diluting the alcohol would be the method. Okay. The motive. That would be customer drunkenness, wouldn't it? Right. Adding water would be the method. Sweet. I unlocked all the questions. Didn't find a single trap. All right. So let's go ahead and talk to this fiendish innkeeper. In difficult times, people like to seek peace at the bottom of a glass. Please 
introduce yourself. My name is Jean Renard, Monsieur le Juge. Juge, nothing but a fraud. Hey, you quiet back there. Systematically opposing the opinion of the jury may lead to serious consequences. Oh, gee. Well, thanks. All right. Um, do your clients drink a lot? Tavern regulars usually drink a lot. So you have been selling p plenty of wine. Quite a lot, yes. And you, you have been paying taxes on the amount of wine you have bought. Not the amount of wine you have been selling, correct? I don't understand. You've been paying taxes on four wine barrels, but by adding a quarter of water to each, have actually made the money for selling five barrels of wine. That's one way of putting it. Perhaps it is correct. I'm not too good with numbers. Uh, well, you're not good with numbers, yet good enough to have calculated that fraud pays off. I wasn't aware. I will take that answer into account. The judge has exposed the bastard. Quiet back there. How long have you been involved in the illegal practice of diluting alcohol? It's not an illegal practice. Everyone adds a bit. In your case, it was a bit of wine in the water, not the other way around. Who are you, Jesus Christ? Uh, have you been doing this for a long time? A few weeks at the most. It's been hard to earn a living lately. I used to, to run an honest business. Pure wine was over spilling the glasses. Is there any proof to support your testimony? He lied to his customers. No reason he wouldn't lie in court. All right. Uh, how do you feel about tricking your weary citizens? Terrible. But all I wanted was to keep my business afloat. Others don't mess around for sure. No diluting would be the end of me. So you decide to commit fraud so as not to lose money. If I lost my tavern, my family would starve to death. Do you have children? I do. One son and two daughters. Time to start saving up for the dowry. Then why don't you send them to work, idiot? Oof. That was a tough crowd. Please call in Thomas LeClaire. This is the witness. Please introduce yourself. Thomas LeClaire, I'm a regular at John Renard's establishment. How long have you suspected that something was wrong with Renard's? I became suspicious around a month ago. Plenty of wine jugs were emptied, but instead of getting more drunk, I was just getting sober. Uh, it was already dawn when I realized I had no money left on me, and I was as sober as a baby. How was that possible? Back then, I didn't realize customers were being served a proper first drink, then receiving more and more water in the drinks after that. Being slightly drunk, they weren't able to notice the difference. Was it like that every time? Every single time. Here's the thing, though. So they, I mean, they got somewhat drunk, all right? But the fact is they did want to get rip-roaring drunk. So we're, we're, we're kind of like at an impasse here. If I sign off on the verdict that he's not guilty, I'm going to lose influence points. All right. I've already lost influence points with the situation with my son, but that's fine. I don't care about that. The problem is I have two factions, the commoners and the revolutionaries. If I send this man to prison, I got to worry about his family. Well, I don't have to worry about his family, but his family is going to end up on the streets, probably unable to pay any taxes whatsoever. And being 18th century France, yeah, it's not going to be a good thing for the fa for the for the wife and the children. But on the other hand, if I send him to jail in prison time, it keeps my neck clean. Hmm. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to send the man to prison. All right. Uh, I lose a little bit. I lose a little bit. Uh, but I do like that bonus for the common folk. You know what? Yeah. Sorry, buddy. You shouldn't have been diluting the wine. You are a guilty. I sent a sin genre to prison. Lead the condemned out. Huzzah! Long live pure wine. Moving on after the trial, click to the next part. Okay. Next. May I remind you that you promised to join me? I have a feeling that tonight's moon favors gamblers, though it does not favor spouses. God should grace us with wives who understand the importance of an evening game of dice. They should also know that the right amount of wine guarantees a lucky roll. I should go home. Bringing a judge to the game has benefits other players will surely not cheat. That is not a strong argument. My name is Jacques-Louis David. Uh, or David. I don't know how the French pronounce David. Uh, I am but a humble painter, not a silver-tongued judge. You are a sly politician, Jacques. Or Jack. As a politician, I understand the importance of keeping promises, and you, my friend, are trying to get out of yours. I'm just a judge. I'm not a politician. Even though judges and politicians are practically the same thing. Alright. I'm gonna go home. 
I don't want to piss off my wife. All right. I I am I am secretly a a closeted Catholic in uh, revolutionary France. So you know that's already guaranteed uh, 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 trouble for me. All right. <laughs> I'm assuming. I'm assuming this guy probably not. He's probably a staunch atheist. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna go home. Not tonight, Shock. I I I want to I want to make it up to my wife. I don't want my wife to think that I am a drunkard and a gambler. A drunkard, yes. Gambler, no. Okay, what happened now? Not to mention, I got my older son. I gotta rebuild that 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 reputation. It looks like a little heart. She's happy. You, you, you can't beat that. You can't beat that. I'm sorry. You can't beat that. A, 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 you know, when your spouse is really happy with you, because you made a, you know, a good decision. You know, what? Oh, come on. Do you not want to berate me like you always do? I'm glad you're home. Are you aware that Frederick sometimes imagines you as a deep sea sailor? He dreams that you visit distant countries and have wonderful adventures. Eh. But he would rather have you by his side on land. We all want that. I don't want to watch the storm blow your lifeboat away and bury it beneath the waves. Very, very poetic, very beautiful. There are no waves. The storm is getting closer. Dark clouds already hang over the shore. Just wait until they finish building that guillotine. Your oars will break at once, and the waves will take you up to a place you'll wish you'd never set foot on. A place without us. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is getting... Look, I stayed home. I could have gone out, and I could have gambled, and... I have a responsibility. Or a responsibility. <laughs> Your family loves you. But we won't find you in the darkness that has already begun to reach for you. What the hell? Okay, family actions. Upon returning home, you can decide how you would like to spend the rest of the day. Various actions. Each action will affect the other members of the family as well as their attitude towards you. You have to choose a uh, character's attitudes. Each character attitude can provide you with a deprive or deprive you of certain bonuses, uh, reputation or relations with factions. The youngest son is special. His attitude makes the other family members like you slightly more. Take good care of him. Aldrich. All right. My son Bernard is a revolutionary. And... Uh, Aldrich, I don't know who Aldrich is exactly. I need to go back and look. Aldrich uh, is of the common folk. My wife influences my reputation, and my family relations is with my youngest son. Uh, play time with the children. Spend your evening and your energy on carefree playtime with your sons. Your wife, your wife needs can wait. Bernard's musical interests, notwithstanding, he needs to learn some more perspective skills, and law can be an art of its own, right? Um, you have chosen to focus the action on, uh, on its description, to see its description. Uh, it's time for the grown men to talk about the revolution's achievements. It should be interesting exchange. This would be between my son and Aldrich. <laughs> Ah, there's a new play opening tonight on the stage, and this is going to be strictly for my wife and eldest son, but not for my youngest on here. But if I play with the children, uh, you know, I can lose a little bit of reputation with my wife and try to gain a reputation with my sons. I'll play with my kids, okay? Yes. Play time with the children. Except. 
Okay. Today, the people of Paris commemorate Jacques Guillaume Simonier, mayor of Entampes. I know I butchered that. He was lynched by a furious mob for performing his duties to France. This march shall symbolize the unity of our society and hope that the most violent stage of the revolution has passed us. Let us make sure that no other loyal servant of France becomes a victim of such hatred ever again. King Louis the 16th. Yes, so I think that's where we're going to end it. Uh, we are... Um, we made some decisions. We made some uh, uh, verdicts, which are also decisions. But we made some decisions, all right. And I think I think that's a good thing. I think we need to. We'll take a pause here and we'll come back and visit this. It's going to get interesting, I'm sure. All right. It looks like we haven't executed the king yet, but it's going to happen. So. I will see you guys in the next one. Take care of yourselves and each other. See you later.